Hello guys, this is DevTV and today I'm going to show you a review of the RX 480 by Gigabyte um, showing the temperature and noise levels of this card. Have fun! First of all, go to the Gigabyte website and download the F8 BIOS and flash it. That's very important to fix some fan speed issues we probably had before. So what I used is Thermal Grizzly Crewnout, Thermal Paste and Ocool Thermal Pads. Unmount all six screws of the back plate. That's what it looks like at stock, so you have to clean it up. Let's start at the back side and apply all the thermal pads we got for all the heat spots. And don't remove the uh, front thermal pads if you don't have small ones. So this is the card out of the box, what you get. Um, we have stock voltage levels, everything is default, also the RAM values. So let's get on to the fan stuff. We have 3000 maximum RPM and 70 degrees max time target. You can just see that the clock is not that stable. We have 73 degrees here and running over 2200 2, RPMs in the default setting. So. Let's see what we get when we do some custom values. I just lowered all the voltage um, from all the states and also the RAM voltage. Also increased the RAM speeds a bit. Um, yeah, we have a lowered RPM setting here to 1800 and I lowered the temp target to 65. We have rock solid stable clocks here. And as you can see, the temperature is also 74. 73 degrees and this is what you get when you apply the new thermal paste with the pads um, we have stock voltage again all the all stock settings we had in the first one and you can just see we have a lower temperature and also lower rpms in the fan speed so this is a very nice improvement here we have also rock solid um, clock speeds here so let's see what's going on with the customs we have the 1800 AP RPM setting again and as you can see we lowered the temperature to 70 degrees now so this is very impressive. Um, yeah, I hope you liked the review. If you have any questions post it down in the comments and yeah, see you later guys.